This video will demonstrate the following eBus biopsy tools. The Olympus VisiShot 1 is available in 21 and 22 gauge needles. It comes packaged for single use with its own brunk adapter and suction syringe. The Olympus VisiShot 2 is additionally available in 25 gauge and 19 gauge needles. Placed side by side, you will notice the difference in locking mechanism at the base. VisiShot 1 has an opaque clear sheath. VisiShot 2 has a green sheet seen here on bronchoscopic view. Boston Scientific Acquired Needle is available in 22 and 25 gauge. It is compatible with the Olympus scope and comes with its own adapter and syringe. The needle tip is designed as a three point puncture device. The bronchoscopic adapter screws on in one direction only. The acquired needle is secured into place by rotating it into the bronchoscopic adapter. Next, the sheath is advanced into place. The needle is 6 cm in length and can be adjusted to the desired length. With an acquired needle, the steps of deployment and sampling are the same as that of VisiShot. On endobronchial ultrasound view, the acquired needle appears similar to an Olympus needle. The steps of use for the Boston Scientific Expect needle are demonstrated here. Cordiax is an intranodal biopsy forcep. It comes in one size of 1.2 millimeters. To obtain an intranodal biopsy, a mucosal entry site is created using an EBUS needle. The forceps is deployed through a needle puncture site, as shown here. On the endobronchial ultrasound view, the forceps can be clearly seen in the open and closed position during sampling. The Cook Ecotip Procore needle is available in 22 and 25 gauge. The use mechanisms of the needle are demonstrated here. This table summarizes the different biopsy tools which can be used with endobronchial ultrasound. The bronchoscopist should weigh these different features when choosing a biopsy tool based on their clinical scenario. 